is tell us uh, with lutein and zeaxanthin, um, what do they do and, and how do they help our eyes and our vision? So lutein and zeaxanthin are beta carotenoids. They are naturally occurring uh, uh, nutrients uh, that uh, we take up in our diet. And they're present in uh, green vegetable and red and yellow uh, vegetable and fruit as well. And our bodies cannot uh, make those, uh, can, they cannot make lutein and zeaxanthin and we have to uh, uh, take them up in our diet. So why are they accumulated in that one spot in, uh, in the macula? Um, firstly, in, in, in nature, uh, things are not just uh, by accident, by chance. We have gone through millions uh, of years of evolution. And if our bodies go through the effort of uh, accumulating uh, lutein and zeaxanthin, so specifically just in that uh, spot in the macula, uh, we can assume there must be a purpose for that. Uh, there are two main theories about what the purpose of, uh, uh, of that is. The, the first one is that um, uh, the uh, lutein and zeaxanthin, because they're yellow, they're, they're acting a little bit like a, a yellow filter. So it's a bit like wearing yellow sunglasses, but just inside, uh, inside your retina. And the fear is that uh, the benefits of that is that uh, it can in increase uh, contrast sensitivity. So our ability to um, uh, distinguish gray tones um, t so you can imagine, for example, um, uh, an example I've experienced, um, if you're trying to ski in fog, it's very difficult to figure out uh, the bumps and the valleys in front of you because everything's white. But uh, with uh, yellow ski goggles, you can see just the contrast a little bit better. You can see those bumps and valleys in front of you in just otherwise fairly homogeneous white and grayish environment. It's easier to distinguish that. So that's theory number so one. The second theory is around the, the chemical properties of uh, lutein zeaxanthin. And it's been shown that uh, they have uh, antioxidative properties. So in the presence of uh, oxidative stress, they can protect the cells from that oxidative stress by basically mopping up those uh, free radicals, uh, as we call them. Um, there are other uh, compounds in our diet that have similar uh, properties that are also very familiar, like vitamin C, for example, has also antioxidative uh, properties. But it is believed that the uh, um, beneficial effects of uh, lutein and zeaxanthin, for example, in the AREDS2 study, are based on their antioxidative properties.